Hey everybody, welcome back to the Budget Blademan. And the blade we're looking at today is the CRKT, and the model of the CRKT is the BT Fighter Compact. And uh, BT stands for Brian Tides, it's a Brian Tide design. So open this up and we'll go over the specs. All right, so we're looking at an overall length of seven inches, a blade length of 2.875 inches. We're looking at a blade thickness of 0.125, uh, which is just a little over our standard uh, EDC carry. And the weight is over th is 3.4 ounces. So again, that's a little bit over the ounce and inch line that normally you like to carry. This is a drop point blade, but they also do make these on Tonto. Uh, this is 8CR13 MOV steel. I'll close this up real quick. And uh, you can see it is right hand carry. And I believe it's ambidextrous, but I'm not 100% sure. I couldn't find the information on it. You can see there's these um, standoffs here that I believe can be swapped over. Uh, you can see that pocket clip is kind of a unique shape because of the giant lanyard cut out there. Uh, so it's a Y shape. And for our opening mechanisms we have, as you can see there, the flipper tab. And then of course the thumb stud. And then as you can also see the lock up mechanism is a plunge lock. So I'll open that back up. So this is, uh, if I didn't mention it, 8CR 13MOV steel. It is tip up only. Obviously there's no way to reverse that Y clip. Um, this is glass filled, uh, glass filled nylon on the handles. This is made in China and this comes in about $45. Uh, the Tanto is a larger version. The Tanto one is 3.6 inches and tends to be about five to $10 more if you're looking at that one. So let's pull out our comparison knives. So first, as always, the keyboard dozer. You can see that end to end that it is a little bit smaller than the dozer. If we go blade length to blade length, you can see sharp and blade length are pretty close because that little bit of a um, cut out there. And then if we go to the Gerber flat iron, again, it looks much, much smaller compared to that. And again, if we go end to end, see much smaller we go cut out to cut out again smaller I want to bring in one more uh, blade that we previously reviewed a little bit different of a plunge lock this is the Tangram Vector and you can see also a button lock a little bit of a different blade has the recurve there uh, but pretty similar as far as overall profile of course, this is aluminum handles on that one, and then we have the glass uh, glass filled nylon on this one, so you can see that. Also on the handle in this, you can kind of see it has a little bit, almost looks like fiberglass, but or not, excuse me, carbon fiber, but it's more just a cutout on the pattern. So I just wanted to compare these as well. Uh, this, the Vector, is about $30. Uh, you can only find these on... Um, Amazon. So if you're looking for uh, any type of Tangram, not just the Vector, but any of the other lines, they're, they're only going to be able to be found on Amazon. This, of course, you can find pretty much at any hardware store, not hardware store, any blade store. So we'll get this one out of the way. We'll close this up and we'll get this in the shorts. All right, so here are shorts slash khakis. Let's see what they look like in there. Okay. As you can see, it does sit pretty deep, but because of the way that the the pocket clip is shaped and the knife is shaped, you are still going to see quite a bit of the knife, just because of that cutout for the lanyard hole. Okay, so let's see if what we can... And you can get your hand in there just fine. And you actually, it's a fairly small knife, so you don't really feel the flipper tab, but it is in there. You are going to feel it just a tad, but not really, because it is a pretty f fairly small knife. See, there's your tab right there. You can still get plenty of room in there, but like I said, you're going to fill that just a little bit. Uh, but there's still a ton of room because it's not a very big knife. You know, your uh, front pocket wallet, multi-tool. Uh, maybe not a phone um, if you have a larger phone because you're going to rub up against that tab just a little bit. So let's just go over a couple more things before the, we get this over with. So this is a knife I was really excited to get. I'd always liked the design. Uh, I do like Brian Ty's stuff. Um, he actually has some customs that you know are in the three to five hundred dollar range. So to see something like this in the you know forty to fifty dollar range is really exciting. However, the thing that 
um, I was not very excited about. As you can see, it's the way the cutouts are on the smaller one anyways, it just doesn't, there's not a comfortable way to hold it. If you put your two fingers uh, in, in between there, it feels really smushed and your fingers are kind of pushed up in there. You can see my front finger is pretty, pretty tight up in there. You just see the way it, it just kind of presses in there. <clears throat> so if you kind of choke back a little bit, it kind of feels funny because then you're hanging off the end of it and your fingers are kind of, and you can see you're pretty far away from the blade. It almost looked, if there was a little bit more of a cutout and you can, but it's, I mean, my fingers are fairly large or fairly thick, I should say. So it's kind of scary coming up against that edge. You don't really want to put too much pressure because you might get yourself. So it's not, unfortunately, this is just not a comfortable way to hold this. Uh, like I said, the larger one, maybe the cutouts are a little bit better and it'll be a little bit easier to get your hands on. But on this compact, there's just not a real comfortable way. You feel kind of smushed because your fingers hitting right in that, you know, cutout or the little hump right here. The same thing with your back fingers. It's just not a real comfortable grip on this, which is unfortunate because I do like the design. I do like the, uh, maker, but as far as the compact, it just, it just, there's no real comfortable way to hold it. And I wasn't the only one that I had tried this. I had a couple of buddies of mine try this and uh, my wife as well. And they were kind of the same thing that wasn't real comfortable to hold, which is kind of sucks because this is, um, you know, you can see the action is really smooth on this. It is, you know, a great fidget knife. So maybe if there's, you know, you have a little bit smaller hands, maybe it'll work on you. I don't know. Um, I was really bummed out that this just didn't fit me real well because, like I said, I like the designer and the action is really smooth. You know, just a great fidget knife, but unfortunately, uh, the handle just doesn't work out ergonomically for me. So uh, thank you guys for coming by, checking this out, and we'll check you next time. Bye.